Tony D and Little Joan, and this is your Piney Podcast. All things South Jersey. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Thanks for checking out the Pineys books 1 through 15. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. I'm working on 17 now. I didn't get very far in it so so far, but 16 is the draft is done. Uh, the the uh, Vig, who's the cover artist, Vig Starmax, very talented. Uh, he is working on the cover for 16. And at some point in September, I'm going to have to go back and do some editing. That'll be out in October. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, lots of South Jersey news. As always, I start with the, the negative news first, try to get it out of the way. And then we get to the food. All right, first up. Uh, this, I don't know if you heard about this, um, police, this is from Breitbart, police say motorists who allegedly killed NHL player and his brother admitted to driving drunk. So this happened in Oldman's Township, New Jersey. A man police suspected of drunk driving ran down Johnny Gardreau, 31, and his brother Matthew. They were both, both pro hockey players. Uh, they played for the Columbus Blue Jackets. That's that's so sad. Two brothers all at once killed. Uh, so senseless. Don't drive drunk, New Jersey. Uh, pedestrian struck and killed on South Jersey Highway. A man in a pickup truck hit the man while he was in the left lane. This was in Logan Township on 295. What the F were you doing on 295, dude? Seriously. 295 is not a road you want to be walking along. No way. And look, I was just saying this last night coming back from the shore. I'm driving along and I saw this guy. He's in the shoulder. And this is 322, which is in the pines. And it's dark. And I didn't see him until I was about... No, I didn't hit him or anything like that. I was in I was in the lane. He was on the shoulder. But if I had had a, an emergency and I had to pull over to the shoulder at the speed I was going, and I wasn't speeding, um, and he just happened to be at that point in the road, he'd be done. He'd be done. I'd have, I'd have gone right into him. And he was walking in the middle of the shoulder. Like the shoulder on 322 in parts is big enough for an entire car. That's sort of the point of an actual shoulder. And... He's walking down the middle of it. Dude, at least get to the side of it closest to the grass. What are you doing? It's not a sidewalk. You got to be careful on these highways, is my point. Uh, but people just, they think they're covered with an invisible force field and they could just walk around. Two girls shot by teen at New Jersey High School football game. This was in Wayne. A 16-year-old boy has been charged with attempted murder after a shooting at a high school football game. That is terrible. Uh, but ho looks like both victims uh, survived. and uh, That's just crazy. Passaic County Technical Institute in Wayne had just won its season opener against Lenape High School. I know Lenape. That's down here. That's a shame. Uh, cameras led to two arrests with handgun in Atlantic City. Okay. Two people have been arrested after allegedly found with a gun in Atlantic City. Um, so you just arrested them because they had a gun? That seems, uh, seems a bit much. Possession of a handgun. That, is that illegal? Just to have a ha random handgun? Um, he was charged with unlawful possession of a weapon. Possession of a weapon for unlawful purposes and a certain person not to possess a weapon. Um, hmm. The, I, I, I'm not too, too good on this. I mean, we have the Second Amendment for a reason. Uh, these guys weren't doing anything else. They weren't engaged in a crime. I don't know why you arrested them. I mean... It is in Atlantic City, so it sounds a bit sus, but I don't know, man. This is horrific. New Jersey sunbather run over by a local cop as she lay on a towel at a popular beach. People were just screaming. And there's no... This is an unidentified on-duty officer. Why is he unidentified? 
This happened in Rio Grande about 3.30. Ran over the torso of a woman who was laying on a towel. Jesus. What the hell is wrong with you? I guess he only hit her with the, the front tire. Uh, you should not be uh, driving on the beach, dude. Unless there's an emergency. If there's an emergency, that's different. Right, Joan? So, you know, I'm not anti-cop or anything. But, again, cops got to have uh, rules. This is uh, a bit much. A bit much. No excuse for this. Former employee arrested after attempted data extortion against New Jersey company. This was in Newark. A Missouri man was arrested and charged with attempting to extort his former employer, a national industrial company based in Somerset County, New Jersey. Okay. So, uh, uh, looks like they caught him. All right. Uh, turning to politics, Murphy tries to take the middle ground in New Jersey's Senate race by refusing to endorse Democrat Kim. Um, I think, yeah, he's mad because uh, Tammy Murphy didn't get the uh, job. Thank God for that. I mean, I'd rather have Kim than Tammy Murphy, but both of them aren't great. Uh, vote red, New Jersey. Vote very red. Goya CEO slams Biden-Harris at men uh, as complicit in child and drug trafficking at border. Good for him. Goya is a big fan of uh, the Goya guy. Big fan of Trump. So, good for him. Former New Jersey. And why, why was that a New Jersey one? <laughs> I forget why. I did do a search for New Jersey on this. Why the hell was this Jersey? Is he a New Jersey guy? Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. I don't know why I picked this. I could have sworn this had a New Jersey thing in it. All right. That might have been a mistake. Uh, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie will teach a course on running for office at Yale. Shouldn't it be waddling to office? New Jersey GOP tries to make a real race in blue New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's turn New Jersey red. And look, you might say, oh, you're just a Republican. I'm not a Republican. Why do I want to make New Jersey red? Because I want to shake up the status quo. New Jersey gets Democrats all day long. They get corrupt. They get lazy. This will benefit Democrats. Because hopefully the next group of Democrats will like go, oh, geez, I can't be that corrupt. And will actually, I don't know, do some things other than get in office and enrich their families. Changes coming to Cumberland County ballot after a lawsuit over design change. So there you go with that. I guess it's going to be like this now. Okay. Seems fine. Seems fine. Um, $1 million EPA Brownfields grant to spur North Camden housing redevelopment. Oh, I'm sure that won't be wasted. North Camden. Everybody wants to live in North Camden. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for Camden. I don't know what to do about it. I mean, obviously I would lower the taxes to nothing and then watch the city explode with business, but I don't think they're going to do that. Again, shake them up. Get the Democrats out. Let the Republicans give it a shot. New Jersey students can't return after building health hazard discovered. That's no good. This is in Laura Donovan Elementary in Freehold. Oh, there's mold found over the summer. All the money we spend on these buildings and schools, this happens. It, it drives you nuts. And the amount, God forbid, what is it going to cost to clean up now, now that they discovered it? I mean, all the maintenance guys we have at schools, you think this would never happen, but once in a while it does. A hollow victory in fight to bring transparency to cops' use of facial recognition technology. I'm not a big fan of this either. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, 
it can be used. I'm not saying you should ban it, but it can't be proof. Like a machine that says, oh, this guy looks like the other guy. I mean, that's useful, but it's not like 100%, you know? Even cameras. I mean, we've seen all these security videos. Sometimes you can't even tell who the F is on there. You're going to let the uh, computer figure it out? Yeah, I don't think the computer can see it much better than a human being. You know, sometimes the video is clear, sometimes it's not. Work on the uh, video technology, not this. Uh, update Haddonfield Schools bond referendum would add full day to kindergarten, high school, and athletic field. And the rich get plenty of school. <laughs> this is part of the problem with public schools. For those of you lefties crying about it, Haddonfield's got all the money in the world. And uh, this is why their schools are super nice. Now, what I would do is I'd make it, uh, uh, you know, private schools. And it would be the same thing. be the same damn thing. Except that a company would have a vested interest in making your school decent if you were in, say, a bad part of the town. Or a bad part of New Jersey. I think it would be better. I don't think it would be great. I still think Haddon, Haddonfield would have amazing schools and the other schools would be eh. But they would be safer, I think, and better. New Jersey posts promising numbers in fight against opioid crisis. So I guess that is something. So, I mean, it's all just statistics, though, you know. Still a lot of people in trouble. Uh, your New Jersey Easy Pass transponder placement might actually be illegal. I refuse to get one, but for those of you who have one, um, imagine imagine getting pulled over for that. Uh, technically, yes, you can get a ticket, but is it likely? Probably not. Oh, but you know, in case they want to just you know pile on the charges on you. Most common spot is on the windshield around the rear view mirror. If you have it there, then it's highly likely a police officer wouldn't bother issuing a ticket for that. Where the hell is it supposed to be? Midway down instead of along the top? Man, I midway what? I mean, it can't be in your field of vision. You know? That's why people put it behind the mirror. Wind farms, offshore Trojan horses. This is uh, from um, Zero Hedge. So this is this is more of a broader article. Um, in July, the U.S. Department of Interior green-lighted large offshore wind farms in New Jersey and Maryland. I hate them, and they should be removed, and you should hate them too. And vote. If you don't want this, vote Trump. Vote the Democrats right the F out. Because these people are utterly obsessed with Green New Deal BS and they're all enriching themselves. Don't don't kid yourself. These people got money in it somewhere. I don't have any proof. I'm just telling you that's the only reason they're so friggin' heavy on this. Um, this will not do do us any bit of good. What we're gonna get is a bunch of wind farms, a bunch of a bunch of windmills that'll break apart. We'll get toxic uh, debris floating up on the beach and then when these things break nobody will fix them they'll be they'll be left out in the ocean I promise you they'll be left out in the ocean that look look terrible for the view and they're killing wildlife and again they say oh no it was the boats I was the boats yeah I don't remember uh, whales and dolphins washing up every other day on the Jersey Shore suddenly started when you started building this crap it doesn't scale up that's the other big deal. Two people die in, from West Nile virus in New Jersey, bringing the number of reported deaths to five. That's no good. That is very no good. Uh, so do yourself a favor. If you got standing water on your property, be sure you kick it over and uh, make sure the bugs can't grow in it. New Jersey is the top 10 in this mosquito category. No surprise there. We are in South Jersey. So, not good. Uh, Ryan's ninth highest state in the nation because we have 50 species of mosquito in our states. Yeah, don't like it. Enjoying your long weekend in New Jersey? Beware of venomous copperhead snakes. 
<laughs> well, thanks a lot. Um, so, yeah, we do have poisonous snakes. you got to be aware of them. Um, bridge closing for four months in Camden County. So this is in Pansaukin. The bridge on the border of Camden and Burlington counties closing for several months because of maintenance work. This is beginning September 5th. River Road will be closed 24-7 between 73 and Tipton, John Tipton Boulevard for work on River Road Bridge. Closures will remain in place during the project, which officials expect, expect the last to January. Yeah, which year? Which year? Uh, Edelman Fossil Park and Mantua Boulevard extension update. So, uh, yeah, this Fossil Park they're building. I mean, I guess it'll be cool, but I don't know. They're building so much down that way. So, this is a picture, if you can't say it, of the new road. I guess it's not done and this is proposed. Okay, build it, I guess. What are you waiting for? New Jersey car insurance rates projected to spike, new analysis says. 15% uh, nationwide during the first half of 2024, so look forward to that, I guess. Mine went up a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, I really don't want this. Shocking map predicts major parts of New Jersey underwater by 2050. Oh, wait, I thought we were all going to be underwater by 2012. Oh, wait, 2030. Oh, wait, now it's 2050. Yeah, keep pushing it back. Go F yourself, climate tards. Assad's Hot Chicken in Sicklerville opens September 6th with four-hour free food promo. Whoa, let me mark my calendar. That's on Friday. I gotta get over there. Oh, man, that's gonna be it's gonna be packed. You're giving away free chicken in Sicklerville? People are gonna go nuts. Uh, 1.7 million New Jerseyans loathe their jobs, news survey says. That's it? like 90 million people in New Jersey, I think. How many? I don't know. It's the population of New Jersey. Population of New Jersey. I think it's 90 million. Uh, do, 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 do. 9.3 million. Oh, I knew it was a nine. <laughs> so 9.3 million. Way too many. I got it. I got it way wrong. I'm thinking of UK, I think. So 14% of 9 million, uh, or no, 1.7, what would that be? What would that be? That would be, uh, about one, one ninth. Uh, so maybe like, yeah, about 14%. 14% of U.S. employees are working in their dream careers. Me. Although I'm very poor. Um, yeah, everybody else is making money. At least you're making money. Aluetto's Caterers, Deford Sold. New name is Sapphire Grand in Deford. Okay. So uh, it's going to be a wedding banquet hall. Looks like they're doing some work. And a nice lake in the back. Although it's very brown. I don't know what they could do about that. But it's nice to have a lake. Uh, volunteer as a junior firefighter at West Deford Fire Department. So if you'd like to do that. There's some kids there volunteering. You can learn about firefighting. A uh, rare must-see listing, New Jersey alpaca farm for sale. This is not the one that I go to on occasion. Uh, this one is called Winding Creek Alpaca Farm in Egg Harbor. I was, for, when I saw this listing, I was like, how many alpaca farms are there? That has to be the one I go to. Nope. It's a completely different one. This one's very fancy. It's got all kinds of, like a crazy mansion and pools and stuff and alpacas. So if you like alpacas and you're rich, come to Egg Harbor. Looking for retro arcades? New Jersey has that covered. <clears throat> yeah, we've got the uh, Pinball Museum in Asbury Park. So, uh, yeah, that's what they're talking about here. Silver Ball, it's called. Over in Red Bank, Yester Cades. So you got that. In Morristown, you've got Game Vault. Uh, there's Yester Cades in Westfield. Rogue Esports in Freehold. Uh, Devalue or D Del View Arcade Club in Lambertville. That's kind of close to me. Billy's Midway Arcade in Hawthorne. Supercharged Gaming Arcade in Edison. Chesterfield Township Fun Days Arcade. And Yestercades in Metuchen. 
or you can just go to the shore like a normal person. Uh, bon Mai Factory in Faux, Washington Township opens. Beautiful Vietnamese French cafe. I like it. I love me some Bon Mai. Love it. Uh, let's see. Looks good. Mmm. Very elegant, I gotta say. Grand opening September 8th. They will have amazing deals on all their product. Ooh, oh, they got a link here. Okay. Let's see. This is Facebook, everybody. Uh, so it's 11 hours, so all day. Well, that's on the 8th, which is uh, Sunday. Hmm. Might have to uh, swing by there. That's not too far from me. That's in Seoul. That's in Seoul. Grand opening. Don't Doesn't say what the savings will be, but uh, I'm down for a Bon Mai, a cheap Bon Mai. A good one. Some Jersey Shore goers are paying others to carry their stuff to the beach, buy their groceries, even cook them lobster dinners. I guess it's a way to make some money. <laughs> the beach concierge, they're calling it. Huh. That's funny. So rich people come down, and then you have like a personal assistant who does all the uh, vacation work. I got to say, I couldn't afford this, but I kind of like the idea. <laughs> Because you got to do a lot of stuff on vacation, even just going to the shore, right? So imagine somebody, you go to the beach, and then somebody's back at the beach house getting the ball rolling on dinner and stuff. I, I got to say, I kind of like the idea. I mean, I don't know what it costs. It's got to cost some real money, but yeah, I'd do this. I could do that. I can make your reservations. Would I? Yeah. Our favorite New Jersey vineyards in no particular order. Okay, let's see. Hawk and Haven Vineyard. Where's that? Cape May? Huh, I heard of that one. Cape May Winery and Vineyard. Heard of that. Chateau Renault, of course. Uh, it's over in Egg Harbor City. Still haven't done an event there, but I really want to. New Egypt, Lorita. I think I've called them. Willow Creek Winery and Farm in West Cape May. Alba Vinery. Where is that? That's in Warren County. That's a little fur further north. Unionville Vineyards. That's it? Oh, man. There's way more than this. But uh, that's a nice list. This is an underrated New Jersey di diner order. I'm liking the looks of this. Looks like a burrito, fries, and a pickle. So what do we got? Is this a breakfast burrito? Uh, do, 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 do. What is it? What is it? Tell me. Oh, and you got soup with this? Uh, what is this? Uh, do, 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 do. Right, just tell me what it is. Grilled chicken BLT wrap. Okay. What's the cost? What diner are you talking about? Doesn't really say. That's it? <laughs> what an article. I like this food is the article, basically. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me some cool, new, cheap order or something, like a breakfast burrito with all a bunch of cool stuff in it. I mean, that sounds fine. Don't get me wrong. I would eat that. I'd also do a gyro. I, I, I'm a bottomless pit, man. I, I'd eat half the stuff on the menu. Dooney's Pub acquires famed Tilton Inn in Egg Harbor. Okay, so I guess they're going to uh, redo that. Okay, good luck. Glad it's still uh, still a place to go eat. Uh, summer results. Cape May named Best Beach uh, Town in USA. Now they're just coming out and saying it. I, what I always say is, is it Cape May? <laughs> so thanks for putting it in the headline this time. Uh, nobody does hot dogs like New Jersey. We make the best, better than anyone else has seen before. Pretty good. Uh, you've got, they're mentioning some places. Starting in Jersey City, Boulevard Drinks. It's an old school joint. Heading over to New York, Tony's Hot Dogs. Down by the shore, North Wildwood's Maui's Hot Dogs. Hmm. With creative toppings. This is, I like the looks of this uh, onion. I like that onion. I like onions on my uh, hot dog. Further north, Mount Arlington, Andy's Roadside Dive, 
Man, this is making me hungry for hot dogs. I was going to have tuna fish, but now I want hot dogs. Hiram's Roadside Stand in Fort Lee. That's way up north. Tommy's Italian Sausage and Hot Dogs in Elizabeth. That is a classic place. I think they deep fry them there. Uh, Rut Huts in Clifton. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Good. Good. Not a bad list. Uh, thanks for including South Jersey. DRP PA Bridge toll rise to $6 on Sunday, September 1st. First increase in 13 years. So the Delaware River bridges are up a dollar. Up a dollar. So now it's six bucks. So now you got to get two bills out of your wallet. Unless you're an Easy Pass user. New, and at least you, I hope you don't get a ticket for your Easy Pass. New Jersey Street Fairs return this fall. See the latest. There's so many of them. I mean, there's so many. Here's Red Bank. Uh, the 8th. This is all September. Wildwood, 13 and 14. I would love to do that one, but like a lot of these are too expensive for me to do. This is Wildwood Crest Firefighters Weekend Craft Show. I used to have a contact there. CIL City on September 14th. I don't think I'm doing any of these. Mine are all south. 15th and Fanwood. Street Fair. Ridgefield Park. 21st, 22nd. Bergen County Fall Festival. Jazz Fest. Uh, what is that? Yeah, it was 21st, 22nd. Dunellen, the 28th. Street Fair Edison, 28th. These are up north. Saddlebrook, 29th. Westfield, October 5th. That looks cool. Somerville, October 6th. Fairlong, October 20th. Garfield, October 27th. New Providence, October 27th. If you want to see the South Jersey ones, you go to my website, the Web Comic Factory. Click on signings and appearances. That's all the places I'll be. And I got a ton of events coming up in the next two months. New Jersey's favorite pizza style has been revealed. Um, well, New York, obviously. But what would you call it? <laughs> it's crispy, cheesy, and it's a staple for everyone. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so what are you calling it? Least favorite toppings, anchovies. I like anchovies. I, you know, I, I just like them by themselves. I don't even need to put them on pizza, but I like them. Eggplant, no, I don't want that on my pizza. Artichokes, probably not. Broccoli, mm, I tolerate it like artichokes. Pineapple, no. No pineapple, bad. Uh, yeah, New York style is the, you know, the flat pizza. We should call it New Jersey style. Um, Paramount is looking to sell a major TV station in Philly, report says. So Philly 57 is for sale. Or could it be CBS News? Probably Philly 57. CBS News is the affiliate. It's the big one. They're going to keep that. Philly 57, though, I mean, I don't even know. I, I don't know the last time I saw a Philly 57 show. Was, was the weekend filler? No, that was Channel 17. So uh, I wish I had the money. I'd buy it. I'd turn it into Tony's TV station. That would be hilarious. Do all South Jersey stuff. Uh, New Jersey's poorest toll-free parkway. You didn't know about it. I don't know. I might know about this. Uh, do, 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 do. Palisades, Park, Palisades Parkway. Um, no, it's not the one. Uh, do, 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 do. This is New Jersey's Poor Man Parkway. Uh, what what road is this? Poor Man's Parkway. It parallels the Garden State Parkway. Is this the uh, Pine Pine Barrens Pass? Can access it. <clears throat> from the Garden State Parkway. 539. Okay, crossover. Show me uh, Google. It's Google. The road is actually labeled Poor Man's Parkway. Oh, neat. And it goes right along uh, the Garden State Parkway. Hmm. 
goes right through the pines, it looks like. I don't know if I have used this. Was it 40? It does, doesn't skip any modern tolls. Do, 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 do. Probably got some uh, lights. All right. What is it called? It's called the Poor Man's Parkway? Really? Yeah. Bypass a lot of tolls. So, this is up <coughs> near Tuckerton. And so, yeah, you could save yourself some money, avoid the Garden State Parkway, until they figure out a way to charge us for this. Croce's Pasta coming to Glassboro. Uh, taking over former Peters and Sons location. Okay. Willing to give a place a chance, even if it's a chain. I don't know if it's a chain. So, maybe. Uh, top budget friendly destinations for New Jersey travelers this fall. Okay. Cape May. Is it Cape May? Yeah, Cape May's great. I like Cape May. Very historic. Got tons of stuff there. What else? A lot of haunted places. The Queen Victoria, haunted. <coughs> Congress Hall, haunted. Um, Uncle Bill's Pancake House. All right, it's Kate May. So you, you're just promoting Kate May? Looks that way. Okay, so Kate May. <laughs> uh, the perfection, the perfect New Jersey town for a family vacation. Is it Kate May? Uh, da -da -da -da. They listed seven spots. And it's Kate May. <laughs> Everybody go to Cape May. Uh, or you can go to Hamilton. Hamilton uh, had its Puerto Rican festival. So Italian festival was in the s July. And now we got Puerto Rican festival. So that was uh, uh, over. Let's see. It's over today. So get to Hamilton if you want to catch the end of it. Best wedding venues in New Jersey for your dream day. Clark's Landing Yacht Club. Point Pleasant. Haven't been there. The Breakers, Spring Lake. Haven't been there. That's probably very fancy. Crystal Point Yacht Club, Point Pleasant. Shadowbrook in Shrewsbury. The Mill, Lakeside Manor and Spring Lake Hiked. Evermore Manor in West Creek. And that's it. Here are some more gorgeous wedding venu venues in South Jersey. Oh, thank you. Here's the South one. Camden County Boathouse at Cooper River. <laughs> yeah, but you got to go to go to the river. Nah, that looks nice. I'm just kidding. Congress Hall, well, that's in Cape May. Flanders Hotel, also haunted. That is haunted by Emily. See, that's Emily's restaurant. Emily is the ghost. Uh, Grand Hotel, also in Cape May. Lucian's, oh, if you hadn't gotten put in Lucian's on this list, I would have rioted. Lucian's is great. That's pretty near me. Uh, Renault Winery, of course. They've always been a wedding venue. Very fancy. Smithville Inn. I love the Smithville Inn. It's small. For, for To me, it's kind of small for a wedding venue, but it's really nice. Uh, Southern Mansion, that's also in Cape May. Bradford Estate, Haynesport. Estate at Eagle Lake in Burlington, that's in Chesterfield. That looks nice. Uh, the Madison in Burlington County looks nice. <clears throat> wow, there's a lot of these. And the Marion, that's in Cinnaminson. I don't know that one. So good for you. Good luck, brides and grooms. Uh, this popular New Jersey summer town is a spooky, scary place. Is it Cape May? It better not be Cape May. It's got to be something different. Ocean City? Really? <laughs> I know the, uh, the uh, what's the name? The Flanders is haunted. And the uh, Lifeguard Museum's haunted. But you got Ocean City Mansion? Oh. Okay. So that's Haunted and Ocean City City Hall. I think I knew that one, too. Okay. Might need to use this for my uh, uh, shorts on Legends of the Pines. So I'm going to keep this link open. Sweet Tomato Lovers, or no, Sweet Tomato Lovers, come to West Cape May to show their appreciation. Okay, so the big tomato festival there. Good for them. Uh, New Jersey Police Department has your back on vacation. A nice uh, headline for the cops. So this is Washington Township. Ring cameras. Okay. I, you know, I'm not big on surveillance, but looks like uh, some of these guys 
are checking homes. Uh, they've got some sort of program. Close to 200 homeowners have registered for a program when they're not going to be home. So I guess they're going to double check on their uh, uh, properties while they're away. So some safety tips from the police department. Leave emergency phone numbers with a neighbor. Stop mail deliveries. Have someone take care of the lawn. Set some appliances to a timer to act like someone's home. Yeah, that's the, probably the best one. Depends on how long. I mean, if you got to mow the lawn, you're gone a long time. you got to get somebody to come over. Or you get a neighbor. I mean, you should be friendly with your neighbors enough that they could collect your mail. Collect the mail, turn the lights off and on. I mean, put the timer on, and you're pretty much good to go, unless you're going more than, say, like a week, I would say. Thousands turn out to raise funds for Hidden Lower Township Gem. Um, this is a mostly wooden structure at the Cape May Airport. So, uh, what is that? Uh, this is a hangar, I believe. That's uh, filled with museum. Uh, oh, historic World War II hangar. Features unique, up close, hands on personal experience for guests. Oh, okay. So, this is like a World War II Museum of Airplanes. So, they're raising funds in um, Lower Township at the 28th Annual Air Fest. So, good luck. Hope you raise money. Cherry Hill Tattoo Expo to host artists from throughout the world. People love their tattoos. I, I you know, I'm not going to get one. I, I think I'm done. I think I hemmed and hawed enough in my life to realize I just can't get one. <laughs> but this is September 13th to 15th at the Double Tree. Three days this con's going to be. That's Tattoo Con. Uh, New Jersey's is home to one of the best grocery stores in America. It's called Maywood's Marketplace in Maywood, New Jersey. I never heard of it. It looks good. I mean, the pictures always look good, though. Good, good for you. Craving crumb cake? New Jersey's top spot reveal. Okay. Uh, I'll take a guess. Ponzio's. I'll say Ponzio's. I would always say Ponzio's. They got a great bakery. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, it's bakery in Hackensack. Okay. So, uh, which bakery is it? B&W Bakery <coughs> in Hackensack. Too far north for me. Uh, best bacon dish in New Jersey is amongst the best in America. All right. Are you talking about that wrap? Because that didn't look that great. It looked fine, but... All right. So you got pictures of bacon. Okay, we get it. Bacon. Everybody loves bacon. The bacon brisket sandwich at Bacon Bacon in Cape May. <laughs> okay. I would try it. I mean, I, you know, I like a good BLT. That's my favorite, but like, you gonna put more bacon than a BLT? Eh, it starts to, like to me putting a bacon on a hamburger. It's like too much. I, I don't need the extra. I love burgers. It kind of steals the flavor of the burger a bit. But a BLT? Oh yeah, I'm down. And finally, your top favorite ethnic restaurants in New Jersey. This is from Sojo. All right, best Jamaican. This was voted, I assume, on the radio station. Cool Runnin's Caribbean in New Brunswick. Best Ethiopian. I I gotta say, I hate Ethiopian food. I've had it a few times. I think the problem is the uh, Italy took over Ethiopia and they introduced marinara sauce, and I just don't like anything with their marinara. But Dashin Ethiopian cuisine. Yeah, I just can't. I can't deal. Can't deal with the Ethiopian stuff. Best French cuisine. Chez Catherine in Westfield. That looks okay. Best Portuguese. Oh, I love me some Portuguese. Fire Pit Grill in Bayville. Yeah, that may have been... That town may have been the last time I had it. A lot of Portuguese there, I think. Best Italian. Catherine Lombardi in New Brunswick. I'd have many, many uh, other variations variations down here south but all right whatever uh best mexican la esperanza and linwall unbelievable you guys won this i mean they are rated highly down here that's right near me but i think it's okay but then again i had the goat when i went there i wasn't too happy with it but maybe i need to go back again wow 
Can't believe they got on the list. Good for you guys. Uh, best Vietnamese. Ooh, at Mount Laurel. Pho Zin. I've been to Pho Zin. Not at that one, but there's another one. That is really good. Look at this. We're getting uh, southern southern New Jersey getting uh, uh, in the mix. Best Polish. Henry's Deli in Trenton. Okay. Best Thai. Origin Thai in Somerville. That looks interesting. And that's it. That's it. What are we missing here? I feel like we're missing a couple of ethnic foods, and I can't think of what it is. Did French. Did Italian. Did do German. Where's German? Yeah, Germans have some food. Come on. There's a few German places, too. I can't think of their names off the top of my head. There's one. It was at a dock uh, along the... Oh, God, I, me and my... Uh, person I was dating at the time. We went there. We stumbled upon it. It was really good. God, I wish I could remember it now. I'm pretty sure it's the same place Phil Murphy got caught uh, going out to during the pandemic. Remember that? I'm almost sure. God, I can't think of the place, though. All right. I got to wrap it here. Thanks for tuning in to the Piney Podcast. I got my uh, things done early today. Uh, check us out at 7 for the live stream where we do it live. See you in the next one.